Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity uh, FTP servers. Here is our objectives. Uh, in part 1, we will configure FTP services on servers. In part 2, upload a file to the FTP server. In part 3, download a file from the FT FTP server. We will uh, go through the background. In this activity, we will configure FTP services. We will then use the FTP services to transfer files between clients and the server. They are given a note here. Packet Tracer only simulates the process for configuring these services. FTP server and client software packages each have their own unique installation and configuration instructions. Exactly, so uh, we have to keep in mind that. Uh, the first time you attempt to connect to a web address, Packet Tracer takes several seconds to simulate the DNS name resolution process. Now we will come to part 1. Configure FTP services on servers. In step 1, configure the FTP service on central server. So click central server, services tab, FTP. Click on to enable FTP service. Then in user setup, create the following user accounts. Click add to add the accounts so this is what we are going to create a username anonymous password is anonymous then permissions limited to read and list then administrator password is cisco then we are here we are going to give full permissions right click the default cisco user account and click remove to delete it so close the central server configuration window right we will uh, configure ftp service uh, in our server now Coming to the topology, here we can see our central server, right. So now we will come to services and here we can see FTP service. We will enable the service on. Now we are going to uh, create uh, the user setup. Username is uh, anonymous. Password also same and here we will give a read and list read and list okay, right now we will create administrator password is cisco here we are going to give the full permission and we are going to add this now we will uh, remove this uh, cisco user and to remove right now we will come to uh, step 2 configure the ftp service on branch server repeat step 1 on branch server right we will do this here is our uh, branch server services ftp we are going to put it on now we will create the username password also anonymous and here we will give uh, read and the list then we will add it now we will come to username administrator password is cisco we will give the full permission here yes now we'll add it and now we are going to remove this uh, cisco right now we will come to part 2 upload a file to the ftp server In that step 1 transfer the readme.txt file from the home laptop to central server as network administrator uh, you must place a notice on the ftp servers the document has been created on the home laptop and must be uploaded to the ftp servers so click home laptop and click the desktop tab text editor open the readme.txt file and review it close the text editor when done then do not change the file because this affects scoring right we will do that now we will come to our home laptop here it is desktop and now we have to select a text editor yes here we can see that now we will go to file 
open and here we can see readme.txt yes here we can see the file right i will close it now we will come to c in the desktop tab open the command prompt window and perform the following steps type ftp central server.pt.pk wait several seconds while the client connects because packet tracer uh, is a simulation it can take up to 30 seconds for ftp to connect the first time right so the server prompts for a username and password use the credentials for the administrator account the prompt changes to ftp then this prompt greater than list the contents of the directory by typing dir the file directory on central server displays right and then uh, transfer the readme.txt file at the ftp prompt type put space readme.txt the readme.txt file is transferred from the home laptop to central server then again we can verify the transfer of the file by typing dir the readme.txt file is now listed in the file directory right close the ftp client by typing quit the prompt will return to pc then this uh, symbol greater than right yes we will do this one by one now now we will come to command prompt and to here we are going to give ftp central server dot pt dot pka we are waiting trying to connect so as they mentioned we have to wait uh, some uh, around 30 seconds yes so it's prompted for the username here the username is administrator the password is a uh, cisco yes here we can see that now it shows uh, ftp greater than so this is prompted like that now we are going to uh, list the contents of the directory by typing dir here we can see the details we have a lot of bin files almost 19 files here we can see right so now we are going to uh, transfer our text file uh, from this laptop to the server so here we are going to give a put readme.txt and press enter here and here we can see writing file readme.txt to central server right transfer complete yes now we will verify the transfer of uh, this file by typing dir and we will check for our file yes here itself we can see readme.txt yes so we can see the size right now we will quit from here by typing quit yes now we will go to step 2 transfer the readme.txt file from the home laptop to branch server right so repeat step 1c to transfer the readme.txt file to branch server.pt.pka close the command prompt and home laptop windows respectively right we will do this so we will transfer this file to our branch server also coming to home laptop here yes command prompt here we are going to give a ftp branch server.pt.pka yes username is administrator password is cisco we will verify the directories so here we can see all the directories starting with the bin right total 19 directories here yes now we will transfer our file put readme.txt yes it's transferred now we will verify this using dir yes here we can see that it's transferred to our branch server also now we will come to uh, part 3 transfer readme.txt from central server to pc2 so click pc2 and click desktop tab command prompt then we have to access the ftp server 
then the server prompts for a username and password so here we are going to use the credentials anonymous account the prompt changes to FTP list the contents of the directory by typing dir and there we can see this uh, readme.txt file listed at the top of the directory list then we have to download this readme.txt file we have to give this command get space then the file name readme.txt then it will be downloaded to pc2 verify that the anonymous account does not have the permission to write files to central server by typing put sample file dot txt the following error message displays all right we will verify that after some time close the ftp client by typing quit the prompt returns to the pc prompt verify the, uh, that the transfer of the file to pc2 by typing dir readme.txt is listed in the directory then close the command line window right also in the desktop tab open the text editor and then the readme.txt file to verify the integrity of the file then close the text editor and then the pc2 configuration window right all this very easily we can do it uh, now we will uh, come to pc2 and we will uh, download this file from the central server here is our pc2 desktop we will come to command prompt right so here we are going to access the ftp central server dot pt dot pka username is anonymous and we will also give the password anonymous right so now we are in ftp we will check the files by giving the command dir and here we can see the file readme.txt yes so we are going to download this file the command is get readme.txt yes here we can see that the transfer complete 337 bytes now we will verify that the anonymous account does not have the permission to write files to central server so we will give put sample file dot txt and we will verify that here we can see that file transfer in progress so, so we got an error so to this file no such file or directory denied yes so requested action not taken permission denied yes so it's not permitting to uh, send the file to the server now we will uh, quit from uh, this ftp right and now we are going to list the file here using dir and here we can see that yes readme.txt right now we will uh, check the integrity of the file so we will go to text editor file open and here we can see readme.txt and we are going to open it yes here we can see the same file now we will come to the last step step 2 transfer the readme.txt file from blank server to the smartphone right repeat step 1 for a smartphone except download the readme.txt file from blank server.pt.pka okay we will do this now we will come to smartphone yes coming to command prompt we will go to ftp branch server dot pt dot pka username is anonymous also we will specify the password yes now we will download the readme dot txt file so we have to give a get readme dot txt yes here we can see transfer complete 337 bytes right so we will verify that using dir oh this we cannot give here dir because it will display uh, from the server okay no problem here we can see that it is in the server yes so it's already transferred to our uh, uh, device uh, smartphone now we will verify that the anonymous account does not have the permission to write files to the send uh, this uh, branch server uh, so we will give the command put sample file dot txt 
oh here uh, we can see error opening uh, no such file or directory right here we can see the spelling mistake so we will give once more sample file dot txt and we will try yes here we can see that permission denied now we will look it from uh, FTP and we are going to see that uh, file using DIR yes here we can see that readme.txt now we will uh, close this uh, command prompt we will come to text editor here file open and here we can see readme.txt yes well uh, that's all in this packet tracer activity here we can see the completion status 100 out of 100 so in this packet tracer activity we have seen the ftp server how to configure ftp service and also we have seen how to transfer files between clients and the server dear friends if you have any doubt please comment below also if you like my video give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video info into your gmail thank you